Welcome back to the shop. Today we are following up on last week's video when we created this cable for PTT and the headset to connect to Yaesu radios. I was talking about creating my own PTT button to connect to this RCA, RCA, I think RCA connected. Uh, and uh, I've been working on that, so I have one of the prototypes uh, ready here, uh, as you can see. This is, uh, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's not much money. I'll uh, figure out exactly what I paid for this uh, button and what I paid for this connector and uh, one meter of this, uh, let's see, this really simple uh, cable. And uh, if you have a 3D printer, then the plastic for the 3D print is pretty close to free. Uh, at least as long as you're making just one. I, of course, made several. Uh, we'll uh, have a look at uh, putting this together today. It's a really simple build and we'll also have a look at the uh, parametric model for uh, FreeCAD because I designed this in a way so that you can uh, create a PTT handle that works for your hand and your thumb. Uh, that means you can decide what size button you would like. Let's see if this, uh, let's zoom in a little bit maybe. See, I have this uh, huge mushroom uh, button here. There's a normal push button. This is, I think, a 19 millimeter. This is a uh, 16 millimeter. We're talking then about the diameter across the uh, threads. This, I think, was a 22 millimeter thread. Uh, and also a mushroom shaped button, as you can see. And uh, yeah, you can decide what button you, you would like. You can decide how uh, the diameter of the grip, the minor diameter and the major diameter can be set individually. Also the length of the grip can be set, the diameter of the hole on top can be set, and also the diameter of the hole where the cable leaves can be set. So, uh, instead of just talking about it, let me show you how this works in uh, FreeCAD, how you can uh, use the FreeCAD uh, drawing. Uh, it's going to be a link in the description where you can find that. With how you can use the FreeCAD drawing to uh, basically design your perfect grip for a PTT button, if you should uh, want to. Let's get into FreeCAD and see how that works. Here we can see the uh, handle. Uh, we can uh, spin it around and uh, have a look at it in 3D space, as you can see. And uh, you should recognize this from the plasticky things I uh, just uh, showed you. Uh, when you open this up, you uh, get uh, all the design files and you also get a spreadsheet called specs. And uh, this is where you set the specifications for how you want your grip to be made. So we go in here now, you can see the specifications of the current uh, the current uh, rendering. So if you want to change something, let's say for you have <laughs> a lot bigger hands than uh, than me, this grip is uh, set up for 85 millimeters. Let's make that 120 millimeters instead. We can do that and we can go back and have a look and we see, yeah, that's a, that's a 120 millimeter grip. And uh, maybe also if you have big hands, you would want to, uh, to make the diameter of the whole thing bigger. This is uh, 26. Let's try and make that 36 millimeters for the major diameter and uh, this uh, recomputes uh, in between every uh, every uh, change. So it takes a little bit of time. And um, let's make it 32 for the minor diameter. And let's go and back and have a look. Yeah, see, it's got a lot bigger, a thicker uh, handle. And of course, now the diameter of the hole for the button, it looks a little puny, but uh, yeah, depending on what button you get, you can also set that, of course. So let's say you have the uh, big mushroom button that I showed you. That's uh, 22 millimeters in uh, diameter, so you can set that. Go back and look at the rendering, and you see now you have a 22 millimeter diameter hole on, uh, on top. Also, uh, underneath where the cable, uh, PTT cable, exits, uh, currently this is set to 3.5 millimeters. If you have a thicker or thinner cable that you want to put in there, you can, uh, of course, change that. Let's say you have a little bit thicker cable, a, let's say 8 millimeters just to accentuate that. You can uh, do that, and you have an 8 millimeter hole at uh, the bottom of the handle. I think that touches on all the things uh, you can uh, change in uh, this uh, parametric uh, model. And uh, if you uh, like to make some more changes that is not uh, part of the, uh, the spec sheet, you can of course always go in and change the, uh, the sketches and the uh, extrusions uh, made in the, uh, in the design. That's uh, probably enough talk about uh, FreeCAD and parametric uh, modeling. So let's uh, get back to the workbench and I will show you how to build uh, one of these things. So let's just uh, pick the one I was planning on uh, building today. I want a really medium sized one. Uh, this is a very nice uh, size, I think, uh, but uh, it's, 
it's a little bit big to uh, to pack when I when I want to try and pack uh, lightly. And I think this is a nice in between size, the Goldilocks uh, type size, at least for my hands. And I have this, which is I think a 19 millimeter diameter button. And uh, this is of course uh, scaled for that. And this fits rather snugly up in here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and build this. For this, we will need the 3D printed handle, a button, some uh, connector to connect uh, the PTT line of uh, your uh, radio. I'll be using this RCA connector. And uh, some, uh, some radios, some equipment use uh, this uh, quarter inch uh, jack. So that's uh, another option. Uh, whatever you need, just uh, attach that to your cable. And uh, also, I think I will try and uh, use about one and a half meters of uh, this uh, wire. So I'll just uh, measure and cut that and uh, we'll continue. Very unscientifically, un one and a half uh, meters, I would uh, guess. So let's uh, get working. First of all, we need to connect uh, the cable to the switch. So we we start by removing the insulation around the shield. Come on. And uh, as we have no need for this uh, shield, we'll remove that as well. Or maybe we can just use the shield as one side and uh, let's do that. Let's use the shield as uh, one side of the uh, wire and uh, combine the two wires for the, for the signal, the center. Why not? If you think this is a dumb idea, please uh, tell me in the comments. But uh, please do also tell me why it's a dumb idea, because uh, else I'm, uh, I'm not going to learn much from it. Let's see, let's get this off and this off. A little bit more. There we go. Now, because these holes are uh, rather large, I can't just put these tiny puny wires in there. So what I have to do is uh, first roll them up and then I will wrap them around the uh, insulation on the outside of it like this. And hopefully that's going to make this big enough that I can actually fasten it. Let me see if I can show you this. Once done, that looks like looks like this. Go on, focus. There we go. And uh, that should be possible to get in this hole. Yeah, that's far enough. And the thing now is to fasten this well, but not too well, because then it's just going to break. So let's see. I think that's not going to come loose, and uh, then uh, let's fasten the other one. Let's, we'll cut off a little bit of this because that's going to make it easier to get through. And uh, yeah, there we go. If that works, then we can we can cut off what remains in the, on the back. Let's see. Tightening this down well. And yeah, that seems to have done it. So we'll remove what's left. You're still seeing this? Yes. Excellent. That was the uh, connection of the uh, button. Not too much work. Next, we need to create some strain relief for, uh, for this so that if you yank on this, you're not going to make the wire come loose. Idea for this is fairly simple. I've just, uh, as you can see, maybe you can see. This is uh, just uh, about this deep. So what we'll do is we'll measure about this far from the top, give ourselves a little more leeway, and we will create a knot. Very, very simple knot and very, very simple strain relief. But uh, it's been my experience that that is sufficient. Let's see how that fits. That works, yeah. And uh, ideally, we'd want to fasten this with uh, some sort of glue. I like to use hot glue because that means uh, if something breaks in here, I can just break open this uh, cheap uh, 3D printed enclosure, fix it, print a new one, and put it back together. But for this one, it actually fits 
quite nicely even without uh, the glue. So let's uh, do the other end. We'll remove some uh, some more of the outer insulation from the the PDT cable. Once again, we'll split this up into shield and center conductor, and we'll try to come up with a clever way of attaching all this to this connector where the, well, all of it is pretty close to each other. So let's see if we can do that in a way where we don't create a short or uh, a nice opportunity for a short to uh, show up in the future. Let's see what's possible. Just rolling these together. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use that to clamp this. They're uh, actually too close together for that to be easily achievable but uh, yeah that's uh, let's see I'll cut these rather short are you seeing this yeah staying in frame cut these rather short remove some isolation insulation still oh come on learn this now trying to twist them up at least a little bit and put some uh, some solder on it. There we go. And then we'll try to fasten those onto the center tap of this thing. Let's see. Can you see this? Oops, come on. Yeah, I think that's all right. And then we will, how are we gonna do this? We will take, we'll take this and uh, try and bend the strain relief over the cable. This was very fiddly, wasn't expecting that. Try and do that without creating a short. And then we'll cut this little braid and try to solder that onto the back of the connector. Still in frame, yes. Yeah, but uh, for a hack. I don't think that looks too bad, does it? So if there are no shorts, I will consider it a success. But uh, yeah, before we start putting things together, let's make sure. See, multimeter in uh, continuity mode. So let's see if there is a short. No, it doesn't seem to be. And uh, let's see if the button works if we absolutely very nice so i think it's uh, time for the rest of the assembly i'm gonna need uh, a heat source for these this uh, heat shrink and uh, once again we'll just use the lighter because that's quicker than and uh, a lot more quiet and bringing out the huge uh, hot air gun. It does take a while to get hot enough, but uh, I think that's all right. There we go. I think that's the, the first one. Let me get the second one on top of that. go and uh, that shouldn't take quite as long because it's uh, doesn't need to shrink as much yeah, yeah, it's looking good I think there we go and uh, now we can just uh, force this back over and uh, it will actually fit quite nicely back here. So, 
Now we have a PTT button. Let's zoom you back out. Now we have a PTT button, or handle and a button ready to connect to our cable. So I'm now officially ready to use the headset when uh, going portable with the FTX1, which is uh, very nice. Looking forward to it. That, uh, that was all for, for this week. Uh, fairly short, fairly simple uh, video, but uh, I do think these uh, handles are quite nice, um, particularly for the fact that you can, you can create them so that they fit nicely in, in your hand, uh, depending on your, the size of your fist, the length of your fingers, whatever you think is comfortable. And you can also select which button you prefer to have, if you want a small button like this, or a big mushroom-like button. Uh, as uh, this one. Um, if you like this video, please uh, consider giving me a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please consider subscribing. If you saw anything uh, stupid I did or uh, anything else you want to mention, then please do leave a comment below the video. There are many, many things that I don't know, and I'm actually learning quite a bit from the comments I get on my video. Comments are most definitely welcome. Well, as I said, that's it for today. So I will say till uh, next time, thank you so much for watching.